Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 21st of November. Let's take a look back at last week's trade and that was long sterling yen. It has been a week of gains. Every single week of that week has been moving towards the upside. So working out perfectly so far, we can see the pullback in towards this 76.4 Fibonacci level and just through that 100 day SMA. Marked a potential turning point. We're drawing this fib from the 159.75 here, and we're pushing higher and up through all of your Fibonacci levels apart from the 76.4 fib. So hopefully we can take that level out. That's a 167.66, so that's near-term resistance. And then crucially, your 169.10, which of course would negate that trend of lower highs that we have been seeing uh, over the course of November thus far. But certainly, as things are playing out, it appears to be going well. And you can see stochastics moving out from that oversold territory and starting to move upwards. So there should still be plenty left in the tank for a nice move up towards the take profit target. For the week ahead, I wanted to look at the US dollar against the Chinese yuan. We had been seeing some downside coming into play. A lot of that was to do with both US dollar uh, losing a bit of traction, but also China moving towards a period where they're going to release some of the restrictions. Well, now we're seeing that Beijing has seen schools starting to close. We're seeing businesses close. We're seeing a death. We're seeing cases rise. And therefore, it's a resurgence of that story around about tightening of COVID restrictions and the lack of the a loosening of restrictions. And that points towards the possibility of us once again, moving higher. This is a trend that has been really playing out very well over the course of the year. We've pulled back towards your 701.27, but now we're turning higher once again. So I'll utilize that price swing low for a stop loss and say, put put my stop uh, around about, let's say 7,000. Well, so let's say seven essentially. And then above there, we're going to be looking at the prior peak here. So let's say, 7,738, let's say, 738. So a little bit better than the one for one, but hopefully we can see a bullish continuation here for the US dollar against the Chinese yuan.